Hello friends, my name is Srikant and today we will be solving this problem of lonely integer of hyperplane. So there are n integers in an array, all but one integer occur in pair. Your task is to find the number that occurs only once. So uh, as the question says, uh, every other number which is there in the array uh, has a pair, exists as a pair only one number is there which is lonely okay that is that occurs once so uh, the input is in this form and uh, the n is the number of uh, integers present in the array and uh, the next line contains n space separated integers that form the array okay now uh, the trick to this question is uh, this Think of it, whenever you uh, bitwise ZOR a number with itself, what happens? It basically gives you uh, 0 as the answer. Uh, try and check it out yourself. So what we will do is, we will use this trick to solve this problem. First of all, let's include the uh, basic uh, header files required. Okay. And, uh, will be using namespace in main uh, now we will declare a integer n ok now we will take from the input this number which is the length of this uh, all the numbers ok now uh, we will run a for loop to take the inputs as well as process them immediately we will not use any array for storage because it is not required for here it is not required to store the answer we only just have to uh, print the number which is lonely what we will do is uh, we will take the numbers one by one and uh, XOR it into a output integer ok uh, let's say the final int uh, is f ok now f is equal to first of all we will have to take this number into a temporary variable ok we'll declare it here and we will initialize f as 0 then we will simply f is equal to zor is equal to temp ok now we are zoring f with temp so f as as soon as a new number comes we zor it with the current set of numbers so every other number will cancel itself since uh, the, it exists in pairs only the number which is lonely will be remaining after we get out of this loop so what we will do is we will print this f and this will be our answer ok let's try to run the sample test case on this one ok as you can see this is successful all the test cases have passed now we will submit the code and see whether the private test cases also pass so uh, it's loading till now so as you can see all the test cases have passed so we do not even require an array to store the variable and hope you like the video thank you very much